Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Nama saya Rosita Majis Mujid Asal dari Ambon, Maluku, Indonesia Seperti yang kita ketahui bersama bahwa Dari kita sekolah dasar hingga perguruan tinggi Itu selalu diajarkan bahwa bumi itu bulat Pertanyaan Uh, her name sedangkan, is Rosita Majis Mufid, she is from Maluku. Sedangkan, jelas bahwa dalam Al-Quran, Quran Surat Kaf ayat 7, Quran Surat Az-Zariyat ayat 48, dan Quran Surat Al-Ghaziziyah ayat 20 itu disebutkan bahwa bumi itu dihemparkan. Lalu bagaimana, apakah selama ini kita dibohongi oleh sains modern? Atau mungkin Dr. Zakir Naik punya pendapat sendiri tentang masalah ini. Terima kasih. Bukan flat, tapi dihamparkan. If I'm not mistaken, she quoted three verses of the Quran. Wal ardu ba'da dalika dahaha. Sorry? Ah, that comes very explicit in the, in the Quran, but let's see what she's saying, 5140. You said 5148. Ask her the verse number again. Ayatnya berapa tadi, Mbak, yang disebut? 48. Surat Kaf ayat 7, sur, Quran Surat Azariyat ayat Kof. 48, Kof dan seven. Surat Al-Ghaziyah ayat 20. al Kof 7, Azariyat 48, and Al-Ghoshya 20. The sister posed the question that the world is spherical. The Quran says in several places the world is fat in Surah Kaf, including Surah Dariya, chapter 51, verse number 48. What she is referring to, that Quran says Allah has made the earth as a farash, as a spread out. The Quran says, Wal ardabada dalika daha, we have spread out the earth. Sister, whenever the earth, when the Quran says that the earth is spread out, it does not mean it is flat. Spread out means it is spread out. Some place the Quran says the earth is spread like a carpet. We have a misconception that a carpet is only put on a flat ground. If you have a big globe, you can imagine the world is very big. Three, nearly 4,000 miles in radius. Circumferences. Even if you take here, if you just think of a 50 meters globe and if you stand on it, it looks flat. So we have a misconception that the carpet is spread only on flat. If you take a big globe, you can even spread a carpet on the big globe. The complete verse for it says that we have made, we have rolled out the earth as a carpet for you so that you could walk on it. Today science tells us that the earth that we live on it is about 4,000 miles in radius. The deeper layer is fluid and hot and cannot give, cannot sustain life. But the superficial layer, it is a thin crust, hardly about 10 miles in thickness. And this, what I believe, is a layer which helps us to walk on it. So when the Quran says they have spread out the earth like a carpet, we think carpet is flat. No. A carpet can also be rolled out on a globe. And furthermore, carpet is rolled so that you can walk easily on it. So Allah says He has made the earth, thin crust of the earth, so that you can walk on it. All these verses, Surah Qaf, Surah Dariyat, say we have spread out the earth. Spread out doesn't mean flat. It is your misconception. Spread out means it is made spacious. And even a globe can become spacious because no two verses of the Quran will contradict. If you think, okay, it can have two meanings, how, why, how come you have chosen spherical only? Because there are other verses of the Quran which clearly mention that the earth is spherical. If you read the Quran in Surah Naba, chapter number 78, Surah Naziyat, chapter number 79, verse number 30, Wal ardabada dalika dahaha, and thereafter we have made the earth x shaped. One of the meaning of da is spread out. The other meaning coming from the Arabic word duya. Duya means egg shape. And we know that the earth is not completely round like a ball. 
it is flattened from the pole. It is geospherical in shape. And the ha ha doesn't refer to a normal egg. It refers to the egg of an ostrich. It also refers to the place where the ostrich lays an egg. And today we know that the egg of an ostrich is geospherical in shape. So Quran is mentioning that the earth is geospherical in shape. Furthermore, in Surah Luqman, chapter number 31, verse number 29, it says that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created, he, he merges the night unto the day and merges the day unto the night. Alam tara anna Allah yuliju layla fil nahari wa yuliju nahara fil layli that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala merges the night into the day and merges the day into the night. That means the night slowly and gradually changes to day and the day slowly and gradually changes to night. This phenomenon is only possible if the earth is spherical. If it was flat, there has been a sudden change. There are various verses. Quran also says in Quran clearly states also in Surah Zumur, chapter number 39, verse number 5, that we coil the day unto the night and coil the night unto the day. The Arabic word is kawara, how you coil a turban. This coiling and overlapping is only possible if the earth is spherical. It's not possible if the earth is flat. So if you understand the Quran correctly, nowhere does the Quran say earth is flat, but many places it says that the earth is spherical. Hope that answers the question.